Hey and welcome to Bullion RV in Duluth. I'm Jim. I'm going to show you a Grey Wolf 21 GP right now, as you know, since you're the one who clicked on it. The 23s are coming in. This is the first of the 23s here. Let's take a look around. As you can see, it's big full size fiberglass sided hydraulic fish house. The hydraulics run on a key fob. Couldn't be easier. I'll demonstrate that to you in a moment. There are two 30 pound LP tanks here. We'll fill those up for you. The tongue jack is hand crank onto the, onto the hitch, but it lowers down hydraulically. You can stay hooked up to your truck as you raise and lower the house. There's the gray wolf. The iconic Grey Wolf graphics, LED lights here. I don't know if that shows up, but all along this side, just nice so the snowmobilers don't run into you. When you're out there, this is a double axle house. Double pane windows here. Got those cool mountain graphics. Big window in the back here for watching tip ups. Security camera there for watching tip ups, backup camera. Electric awning comes out. There's not a lot of room to do it, so I won't do it right now. And as you can see, this is set down right now. Cool, stylized black door windows, three windows on this side. Lets a lot of light in in the winter. That's a good thing. Come on in. And we'll show you the inside. This has a big queen bunk. Looks to be a queen, maybe it's a full. It's electric, goes up, press of a button. Oh, the only difference I can see on the 23s versus the 22s on these Grey Wolves is this bed comes down much lower, which is nice. You can climb on it much easier. It can ride right here if you want it to do the top bunk, or it comes all the way down and acts just like your bed. And as we watch it go up, it's pretty exciting. You can see the windows have the blackout shades on them, which is nice. You, need, you do have to put the cushions down to get the bed all the way down. And as you can see, this table raises up here, or you can store it up here and have this be just like a sectional. That's how I would do it. There's two holes underneath this table as well for fishing. There are two, four, six, eight holes all together in this house. Comes with the spare tire. The spare oftentimes just rides right here. Electric fireplace for ambiance as well as heat, your choice. Place to mount the TV right here. You can connect that in with your aqua view. Watch the fish up on the screen. That's a great time. Some storage here. Some lights here. By your holes if you're night fishing. That's a nice feature, so you don't stick your foot in there in the middle of the night when you got a snoot full of bush light. Could happen. That's what a friend told me. Kitchen area here, conventional oven, three burner stove, big sink. This, this fish house is fully plumbed, and so it's completely usable all year round, which makes it actually practical. And that way, a lot of camper fish house for your money, you could use it 11 months out of the year. Big fridge, big freezer. There's room in this freezer for, I would say, a limit of crappies, a limit of walleyes, and a dozen dilly bars. Another bunk over here. So that rides this way. Sofa jackknife, 
and that folds up out of the way so there's room to set the hook if you're sitting here in these prime jigging spots. I got dibs on both of these by the way if we go fishing together. And up into the bathroom. Shower, toilet, plenty of storage on both sides. There's a max fan up on top which is important if you've ever, ever been ice fishing. You understand the importance of the max fan. This this rig does have everything that a camper would have as well. Air conditioning, heater, hot water, plumbing, shower, oven, the whole works. So it's 12 or 11 months out of the year. You probably wouldn't be able to use it when the ice is too thin. But beyond that, it goes all the time. Rubberized floor, which is nice. If you're using it for hunting and fishing, you're going to be tracking in snow and mud and stuff like that. It makes it easier to clean than a, uh, you know, the camper floor. And so this is a perfect rig. As I said, this fish house runs on a key fob for the up and down for the hydraulics, which is nice when you wake up at seven in the morning and you want to move and it's 10 below. Could not be simpler. Up she goes. The front kind of goes up first. You can see the back end is still coming up here. That's all the way up. There are a couple pins that are stored up there go on either side here for going down the road. The travel lock pins. And a couple of pins that go right here as well. So it's very simple to use. It's a very nice feature. It's worth the price of admission right here, this hydraulic frame. Uh, Bullion RV has been here in Duluth for since the 1950s for a long time we're a privately held company uh, we don't we aren't traded on the new york stock exchange this is a local family owned business here so that's important to me hopefully it is to you my name is jim if you want to talk about this fish house or any of our other inventory give me a call my phone number is 218-336-3619 Give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you about any of it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.